so lucky to be speaking to Nikki at the Tap Gallery today. Nikki, welcome to this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. Oh, thank you. And now, tell me a bit about this incredible tapestry you've done. It's very unusual to see tapestries, isn't it? Yeah, well, I started doing tapestries um, because when I was doing paintings and chalk yeah. drawings, my kids were getting in and helping, and I thought, I really need to have something that's all me. And I'd done textiles. I'd majored in that at university. And so I started doing contemporary um, tapestries, and I was able to fold them up and take them wherever I was going. Dynamic yeah. urban sort of edgy sort of feel that's sort of the idea so I started with a small netting but that would take so long to do and then I moved up to a medium sized netting and wow. now occasionally I do a really big sort of rug style big tapestry needle and wow. combine um, really fat wool to make it and it grows quite quickly it's relaxing to do and yeah. it's quite calming but you do have to find that time to sit and what's this over here I was looking for well, this is a little caravan this is supposed oh. to be sort of cleaning the caravan maybe like just putting it into another sort of maybe that urban sort of maybe trailer trash maybe holidaying maybe freedom just sort of maybe just open to interpretation yeah. but I just like the idea she was cleaning that and you know it's got all this stuff in the background really as I love it. and you also do a bit of painting as we can see behind us there really they came about because these take so long to do and I've got you know sometimes I just need to free it up and do a painting so this can be done in like you know two hours this might take two months and this one might take you know six months so that would have taken quite a while because it's small this one nearly killed me maybe six to eight months like for every little square centimeter is about an hour and um, I did quite a lot of those and sold quite a lot but then at the end of the day I just went too many ideas, not enough time, yeah. so I moved on to doing the bigger stitches. But like St Kilda and the City Circle yeah, and yeah. all these little things I saw in the alleyways and just little snapshots and I brought them all together in one piece. So that's where you get your inspiration from, from alleyways and streets? Yes, yeah, and just walking down a street. So this ephemeral thing is now captured in a permanent sort of medium and I quite like this whole recontextualization of the tapestry medium. Tapestry is sort of there for Ever, really I'm a teacher as well oh, right. yeah high school teacher so that kind of wow. the day job and this is the the passion that also sort of pays for itself and continues so we've got one a tapestry yeah. here so this is the this is the bigger style of um, whole lights this is the right. the quickest way I can do it yeah. and they all come like this whether it's this one or just be smaller and right. I draw the whole thing up right do all the black first and then fill it in with colour and this one's just a more simple I sort of trying to give it a 60s sort of feel no, it just absorbs sound and also it doesn't it absorbs the light so if you have lights it's not reflecting off it so it's kind of kind of like it's quite a nice thing and you know I've got a, quite a few up in my lounge room and it's, it's very warming isn't it's it it's warming yeah oh what a wonderful idea Nikki thank you so much for talking to us it's been a real treat oh thank you I really appreciate it that was our show today, folks. So from me and the Tap Gallery Cat, we'll see you again next time. Have a good one.